Hi, my name is Francine Marie Jennings. Why trans people get antagonized, do not get the right services like hormone services, psychiatry services, and um, surgeries right away for us or us. So we're going to take one step first. Hormones, if you went to Parenthood, you can get it right away. If you go to Evergreen, you would have to wait a couple months to see the doctor, okay? So if you go to Planned Parenthood for like one year and a half, then Evergreen will write your script after that. And they would do that. But if you have to do SRS surgery, you have to wait two years before you go get the surgery consult. And three years after the surgery consult, you to go for is called psychiatry. Yeah, because during your, but we go back one year, every Year every year you go, you still should go a counseling because it helps what to write your letters for surgery and get on meds if your insurance company needs a better okay to make sure you transgender. And then gay people is different, okay? LGBTQ. Okay. Gay people can get what gender they identify as. They can get their letters right away. And if they need help, call whatever state you in. Like, say you in Florida. Say you in Niagara Falls. Say you in Buffalo. Say you in... Tennessee, say you in all different states, go to your locus, call 211, wherever you are, or whatever your star network is for referrals and stuff. And then if you need a call, um, like a trans lifeline, you could do that to get your letters and stuff. To get um, your service providers to get your hormones and stuff, they will put you in the right direction. And because I never dealt with me getting, when I got on hormones, I went to Planned Parenthood right away and say I was trans. But you know, it took a long time for me to come out as transgender took me maybe three years or four years really coming out and then it was when i got on the meds it was like only a couple months like maybe like two months i would start wearing girl clothes every day but now i'm starting to grow the brass tissue is like not okay to wear a bra. Be only when I'm in my house, I don't wear a bra. But when I go out, I wear a bra because my boobs leak a little bit, y'all. You know, still, because it is um, my pressure on level is high, and is that what is causing more moodiness and dreams and and. It's like a male going for puberty. It's because I went already for puberty when I was a boy. Now I'm going for female puberty as a girl. So it's like, it's not a bit that. And then next step, I'm getting hot flashes, hot flash, where I'm very hot, you know, really, and... Okay, next step is um, when you go to the doctor, 
they will ask you all your health um, questions like, are you depressed every day? If you hit, if you tell them yes, they won't write the script that that month. They will make you go see a counselor. Second is um, if you have high blood pressure, they will look at that and they would look at your blood work. First, they would do um, check what your hormone level is as your gender, what you was born with. And then thirdly, um, this get your um, hormones checked when you get on pills or, or shots or patches or gel. Just get checked. Um, the last question is, do you know any trans people if you came across my channel right now? Just answer them questions um, and leave any questions you want to leave. I am a transgender woman, but, you know, I answer all questions. Thank you for listening to me. Please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and share the video. And hi, Tom. Hi, Charity. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Tom. Hi, um, Elliot. And hi, Ricky. And Laura.